Hey guys, welcome to our live stream. Uh, we are here at the Yangtze River, as you can see behind me, and we are going to uh, release Chinese sturgeons into the wild. So we've been invited here by the Three Gorges Dam, and they're releasing sturgeons. They're bringing them down behind us, as you can see. They're taking them down the stairs here. Um, and we're going to release these into the wild. So let's go down and just start checking it out. Um, this is uh, a live stream, so if you have any comments or any ideas, uh, you know, comments or you want to ask a question, feel free to ask a question and we'll try and answer them. Uh, let's get down into this because there's a lot of people down here, a lot of activity, a lot of excitement, and we're just going to uh, get into it and talk a little bit about the Chinese sturgeons and talk a little bit about this event and uh, really just show you what it's like to be here. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here, there's lots of uh, companies that have been invited. Um, Many companies have been invited by the Three Gorges Dam and they get uh, the access to release these fish back into the wild. So many programs here, uh, many people here, as you can see, this guy's getting a fish out. Oh, get a shot of this real quick. This guy's getting a fish out, look at him. Um, and so he's trying to put them into these blue uh, carriers and they'll carry it up to the stage. And up at the stage are, uh, there's three, there's three shoots here where they can actually uh, release the fish. So let's go see it real quick uh, as they get these into the, into the tank. Oh, they got a feisty one over here. <laughs> oh yeah, look at it. <laughs> He's ready to get in the ocean. So these uh, will end up out in the ocean. First they get into the Yangtze River and then they swim out to the uh, basically the East China Sea. And when they're in the East China Sea, uh, that's kind of where they live. Uh, so they start their journey here in the Yangtze River uh, and they end up out in the East China Sea. Um, they're going to release these, but let's keep walking because it seems like they're going uh, a little bit slow. So let's just keep walking around. We'll show you what else is happening here. Um, <laughs> they pour, pull more fish out. Oh, we're now getting some kids here who actually have the opportunity. So this is uh, <laughs> lots of excitement as you can hear. <laughs> so you can see lots happening. Um, those little kids are actually going to take uh, up to the big stage. Um, so a lot of companies uh, bring their families out here and participate in this event. Um, it's a great, act, uh, great activity, uh, especially for the Three Gorges Dam to uh, kind of promote this environmentalism and promote um, this idea of uh, restoring the ecology in the Yangtze River. So um, this is really good considering um, considering how things have happened. Uh, <laughs> train is off. Whoa, watch out. <laughs> Right, as you can see, there's a lot of activity. A lot of people are uh, moving around, and there's fish everywhere. Um, we're gonna we're gonna get an opportunity to, to release one in a little bit. Um, hopefully, it goes uh, well. But as you can see, everybody's running around. Um, a little bit of chaos, but uh, it seems everybody's having a fun time. And and we're doing something good here today. I mean, we're trying to restore the sturgeon population. So the Chinese sturgeons uh, have been around for about a. 140 million years, they say. They've been around for a really long time. Um, so we want to obviously maintain this species. And the Three Gorges Dam is doing a good job because they started their breeding program uh, in the 80s. And during, the, during that time, um, they noticed that there was a dip in the population. So they started this breeding program and they've really helped restore this sturgeon's uh, population. Um, so without their work, um, this, this species could have died out, but they've helped stabilize it and actually helped uh, uh, grow the population, which is really uh, impressive. And we're gonna actually go to the breeding center later. Um, and if you watch our full video, because we're doing a full video about this event, so if you come back and watch our full video, um, you'll see what we did and how they actually breed these in the breeding center. So we'll go over there. So be sure to check out that video. Um, let's see if we can actually, how do we get one of these fish? So I have a, I have a, a colleague here and uh, how do we get one of these fish? How, what? how do we get one of these fish and actually do it? Do I just have to go up and get one or? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Maybe we, let's can try go. And, yeah, yeah. maybe we can try and get one. We can ask, uh, ask uh, maybe this guy? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> 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 
this foreigner wants a fish, uh, and so he's gonna get me one. All right, look, he's All got right. a little one. Can I actually take it to the tank? Okay. You need to take it. Yeah, you can take it. Alright, so I'm gonna actually take this fish. Maybe, maybe this, uh, maybe this. You wanna take a fish with me? Yeah, yeah. With it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we got one. You wanna take it with me? Okay. Okay, here we go. Alright, here we go. I'm going to take it over here and put it in the tank and then they'll release it um, into the wild. All right. <laughs> All right, so I'm doing my part to restore the fish population here. Um, they, they're going to move all of these and today they're releasing uh, quite a few as you can see most of these tanks have been full and they've been releasing them quite regularly um, so this will happen probably for about the next hour or so um, they didn't have an exact number they didn't give me an exact number uh, but it's as you can see each tank probably has uh, 25 or 30 uh, fish so if you can say five tanks uh, we'll probably have 100, uh, at least 100 or more fish that we're releasing today. And the Three Gorges Dam, um, since this project has started, has released over 5 million sturgeons. And these are the ones that they bred in captivity and released into the wild. And um, this has really helped stabilize the, uh, as, as they run by with fish. Uh, this has really helped stabilize uh, the sturgeon population. Um, and so the work that they're doing is actually pretty amazing. Um, this species has been around for a very long time and if, it, if they hadn't uh, started to do this work it probably would have died out. Um, so let's just get back into it and see what else is happening. As we can see there's a big tank over here where they're releasing the big fish. Uh, these are the, the, the ones that are, I mean these fish, uh, interesting fact about these fish is they can live as long as a human. Um, so they can live, you know, 70, 80 years, even longer. I was talking to one of the, uh, the people here and she said that they can live uh, even up to 100 years old and that's like, that's crazy, right? I mean, that's crazy to me. Um, but, and they also get big. Um, when we were at the research center, again, if you watch our main video, you'll see it, but some of them were as big as me. They, they get really big. They're like sharks. Um, and they're releasing the big ones here. Let's see if we can actually either see one in the tube or if we can see one in the tank. Um, but we're going to try and get a shot of the big one because uh, they put them in this tube. And you can see how big this tube is. I mean, this tube is, is basically the size of me. Um, and those fish get in there and then they get shot down into the, uh, shot down into the Yangtze River. Um, but you can see this tube is, is a large tube. I could probably swim in there and be shot down if I wanted to. Um, I don't want to, but, oh, here comes one right now. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look how big he is. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he's in this tube. That's a good... And it probably comes up to about here on me, like it's about half my size. And the ones that we saw, we saw one uh, earlier. Um, okay, we saw one earlier. Um, like I said, well, let's just watch them shoot this one out, and then we'll talk about the ones we saw earlier. So they should launch it out any moment. They usually get it in and then they uh, launch it down and you'll see it go down the chute. Uh, but he's not so sure. He wants to go back into the tank. <laughs> so like I was saying, the ones we saw earlier um, at the research center, um, we saw one that they said was about 20 years old. And that one was... Oh, there it goes. There it goes. So you can see from the bigger ones, they have this process that uh, shoots them out into the river. Um, obviously the one I put down was much smaller, um, but the bigger ones, uh, they shoot out of this big tank. And like I said, they can be up to uh, about my size. I mean, maybe a meter long and they can weigh, uh, you know, quite quite a lot. The ones that we saw yesterday, probably two or 300 pounds uh, easily. Uh, so uh, literally my size. Um, and that one was 20 years old. Uh, that was the biggest one they had. We can check here. These tanks might have some of the bigger ones in them. Uh, looks like this is uh, one, one here. We can hardly see it. Um, but you can see it's a fairly, fairly big sized fish. Um, and these are only... Um, so the ones they're releasing today are pretty much between the ages of 2 and about 10. Um, is what they said about 2 to 10 years old. And so if they can live to 90 years old, you can imagine how, how big they can actually get. 
very pretty. Can I touch it? <coughs> yes. I can touch it. And like, you can see they they just very soft in their spine here. You'd think it'd be sharper, but um, it's not so it's not so tough. Uh, but their skin's very soft. Their their scales are very nice. Um, very interesting opportunity. Um, but like I said, these are the these are the ones. They're about two to eight years old, um, and they can get up to. Uh, you know, the lifespan of, of a human, so 60, 70, 80 years old. Uh, so the one we saw yesterday was 20 years old and it was about my size. Um, they're not going to release any of those um, because obviously uh, those are being held in captivity because they have a breeding program and the breeding program requires uh, obviously uh, certain uh, males and females of the species uh, so they keep the strongest uh, they keep the strongest ones the ones with the the best uh, possibility of reproducing and we saw that yesterday they were showing us how they get the eggs out of uh, the females and how they actually fertilize them uh, it's a really interesting process um, let's go over here and check out some more um, see how how this is going there they go you can see them I might be able to get close and open uh, open up and let another one out <laughs> Um, so, I'm not sure, but uh, in a second maybe I can let one of these out. <laughs> so, uh, they just said I can let one of these guys out, so we're going to let one out. Um, and wait, wait until they let one more in. Okay, see you. Oh yeah, now they're bringing them with uh, three in that bag. So you can see they they got quite a lot of them, and they're trying to get them into the uh, river as quick as possible uh, because, of course, they want to uh, get them in the river. It's safer for them to be in their natural environment than in these tanks. So they're trying to move them quickly. Um, as you can see, they're struggling with that one. A little bit big. Oh, they're bringing even more. <laughs> this tank's gonna fill up. <laughs> uh, so we just let, I, I don't know, it looked like five or six out. Um, that was kind of, uh, I mean, it's really cool to be here. It's, it's a lot of fun uh, because, you know, we are restoring the fish population. And um, it's not something that you get to do every day. Obviously, I'm not involved. I'm just here for the ceremony. Uh, but it is cool to learn about the work and what they're doing. Like I said earlier, they uh, bred over five million of them and released them into the wild. And that's, that's a lot. I mean, when you think about a fish population and when you think that many of these fish could live to be uh, 80 or 90 years old, then you, you see how they're actually, their work is actually re helping restore this fish. And um, the Yangtze River, as you guys know, uh, is a, one of the longest rivers in China. It's very important. And it's said that this fish, um, when it takes its journey up and down, because this is uh, where they breed, um, so when it takes its journey up and down is that they don't actually eat any of the other fish in the in the uh, Yangtze River. So it's considered a patriotic fish. Uh, I was reading online, they call it a patriotic fish because uh, it's, it just comes in, in to the river and it does its, uh, uh, its mating process and then it leaves without destroying the environment. And I think that's kind of what the Three Gorges Dam is trying to do. They're trying to do their work without destroying the environment. And one of the ways they're helping uh, restore the environment is with this product. Um, and it's really uh, worthwhile. Um, let's, uh, oh, we got a drone, we got people, <laughs> we got all the people waving at the drone. Wave at the drone. Um, you can see there's still quite a few people out here getting the opportunity to uh, put these fish into the uh, Yangtze River and uh, help with this project. A lot of media out here, a lot of people, drones a little loud. <laughs> a lot of drones, a lot of people out here having fun. Um, and I think. 
probably the, you know, right now it's a big ceremony and, and people might see this and think, oh, maybe they're not handling the fish very carefully. But I think the bigger impact is about the environment um, and about uh, making people aware of this issue and kind of uh, also keeping people uh, engaged in environmentalism. Uh, so one of the things that this project is trying to do, we get a lot of media cover, we get a lot of people out here. Um, what they're trying to do is kind of create uh, local support and also international support for these types of projects. So if, if more companies get involved and really start uh, looking at the environment here in China, then things can change and things can improve. And I think that's one of the main messages that they want to get out is that um, just because in the past maybe, uh, maybe things have happened, it doesn't mean that you can't change them in the future. And that's what they're really doing right now. They're changing the future by having this breeding project, by getting people involved, and uh, really changing how people look at environmentalism and how they think about the resources that they have. And I think that's the main message that the Three Gorges Dam is trying to put out is, uh, let's make a better China, and in a sense, let's make a better world. And that's a really positive message, and in my mind, um, it's something that people should really get involved in, uh, not just in China, but throughout the world and we can see it I mean you have a whole crowd of people here that are happy you see these kids and it's important when you're little to, to really get involved in uh, this type of environmentalism because it's going to carry through into uh, when you're an adult um, and this is a positive thing oh I'm getting run over <laughs> these kids see I mean these kids are loving it and that's a really positive message that the Three Gorges Dam is trying to uh, uh, kind of uh, put out there in the world and get people involved. And these kids are too cute. Let's go watch them actually release this fish. It's too cute. <laughs> these kids. Look how excited they are. <laughs> So they're actually going to maybe be given the opportunity. Look at him, he's about to release it over there. Uh, this little boy. Uh, uh, lift up the, the, uh, the divider there and let the fish out. Look how excited he is. Oh, Papa's going to help him. <laughs> Uh, there he goes. <laughs> so you can see how impactful this can be for young children, but also for parents. It's an opportunity to uh, learn about the environment, learn about the uh, ecology of the Yangtze River, and uh, learn about how we can protect it now and in the future. And that's a really powerful message in my mind uh, that the Three Gorges Dam is trying to do this type of project to to really improve um, not just the not just the lives of the fishes, but also the lives of the entire ecology in the Yangtze River and the lives of uh, Chinese people here in this town and and also uh, throughout the country. Because when they see uh, this kind of event. Like we're broadcasting it live now and, and be sure to comment if you have any questions, but we're broadcasting it live We have a lot of other Chinese news out here uh, CCTV and, and uh, uh, Global Times and uh, you know Xinhua a lot of people are out here at home. We have Chinanews.com uh, So a lot of people are out here broadcasting it and so when people uh, in China and throughout the world see this kind of activity, they they want to become involved, they want to uh, be more conscious about the environment, and I think that's a powerful message that everybody can get behind, especially uh, with uh, so many issues that we have. One thing that we can control is uh, our local environment, and that's what they're doing here. They're trying to improve uh, their environment. We got a few more big ones here. As you can see this one, look at this guy. Um, but I think. So I think uh, we'll walk through one more time, but we'll probably wrap this live stream up. Um, we can probably do one more fish, and uh, maybe, we can, maybe we can get one more fish. And, uh, we'll do one more, and then after that, we'll wrap up the live stream. Um, and uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this event. Let me get one more fish. Oh. 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 Okay. 
I got one more fish here. It's getting me wet and it's uh, oh. splashing around, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this last one in, um, and then we'll uh, we'll be done for this event. It's quite exciting. We're having a good time, uh, but. All right, there it goes. I'm going to put this back. So I guess the final question for you guys before we end this live stream is, um, what do you think of it? I mean, what do you think of this type of event um, in terms of uh, the environment and what this company is doing? Um, do you know anything about this? Uh, we got another guy with the fish here. <laughs> you know anything about um, the Chinese sturgeons, how long they live? Um, what's your opinion of, of this kind of event? And in general, do you think this is good? Uh, this is good to have this type of publicity, um, you know, try to get people involved uh, with this type of activity. And also, what is your country doing? Does your country have anything like this? Uh, if mo many of our audiences are from overseas, and, and uh, so the question is, what is, uh, what is your country doing to protect its ecology? What is it doing to protect the wildlife? Um, what are some of the programs that you're proud of? Because uh, this program, you can see many people are out here, they're very proud of what's happening. Um, and this is a really good success story, um, especially for uh, the Three Gorges Dam. Um, they really restored this uh, fish population. And that's something that they didn't have to do, but they took it on themselves and said, we should do this because it's important not only uh, for China, but also for their company. Uh, so what is uh, some of the things your, your country's doing to improve the environment? And what are some of the programs that you're proud of um, and what have been successful? Um, leave a comment, let us know. And uh, if you have any questions, we'll be sure to answer them. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this live stream.